Sabin Takuri is one of the youngest people ever to summit Everest. In the following interview you will hear how hard it was to get there and you will be able to admire his desire and endurance. We also talked about what his long-term goals are as well as how he envisions the development of high-altitude climbing in the next 10 years. This story, it's a great inspiration. Uh, Sabin, please can you tell me how old are you? Uh, I'm just 19. All right, how old you were when you have been on the summit of Everest? It's 19. One of the old, one of the youngest, is it right? Yeah. <laughs> what, what age is of the youngest climber of the Everest? Uh, in Nepal, I think uh, 16. All right. Yeah. Three years. <laughs> yeah, three ah, years. It's a shame. <laughs> uh, your friends told me that you are very strong, very strong and very motivated. Yeah. Are you? <laughs> yes, I'm. Are you exercising? Yeah, in my home I used to do. Uh -huh. Yeah, morning. So, what is your motivation? What is your target you want to get to reach? Uh, maybe in from the Nepal, youngest climber for the 14 summit. Oh, good. <laughs> so you are watching all the rest 13. <laughs> yeah, others 13. Yeah. Okay. Tell me something about your climb to Everest. How it was? Uh, it was not easy for me because uh, it is first time 8,000 for me and uh, I tried, uh, you know, like uh, I tried three times for the summit push and uh, for the two times it was not succeed because mm -hmm. of many trouble and uh, on the way there was a lot of uh, difficulties when I had uh, like uh, I have to pass through like uh, when I went uh, Camp too, and from there uh, I was not good. My oh. health condition there was bad. So from there I had to come back, uh, like uh, by heli. I w uh, I was rescued, mm -hmm. and uh, after because uh, at any condition I had to climb Everest. So I'm not going to give up, and uh, I came base camp by heli, and uh, after five days. Again, I went to uh, Camp 2, mm -hmm. and uh, after that, uh, we was planning to go um, Camp 4, but uh, on the way, there was bad weather, mm -hmm. and uh, from Camp 3, we went, came back, and uh, again, another day, we are trying to go, and uh, like, uh, next day, we went to Camp 4, South Cole, and uh, uh, like uh, two o'clock, we start from the camp two, and uh, we we reached uh, to around two o'clock at uh, South Pole. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we uh, reached there, it was so windy, and uh, we already had a camp there because before our friend already climbed uh, Everest because uh, we we were four, but uh, due to the some problem, our two um, two friends they already climbed at nine, mm -hmm. and uh, ninth ninth May. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, w mm, so that's why uh, we already had a tent at Camp 4 and uh, we went uh, like, uh, we already had a tent and uh, we went there and uh, actually we, the, for the Everest we didn't stay in the Camp 4 and uh, uh, it was so windy and our plan is uh, around 8 o'clock we start for the summit but uh, it was so windy and uh, it's so hard for me and uh, we have to stay one more uh, one whole night in camp for okay. and uh, it's not easy for me well, because definitely. yeah and uh, whole nights uh, like uh, i was so worried because uh, my feet is getting very cold mm -hmm. and uh, all night uh, i take off my shoes and uh, i just rubbing my feet and uh, kept them yeah. alive and not frozen <laughs> <laughs> because I thought that uh, my feet gonna be first bite mm -hmm. and uh, not happen like this yep, because the yep, yep. uh, whole night I was there and uh, after some uh, we wake up it's, it, it was like a whole night you know like uh, so windy and uh, tomorrow morning and uh, around nine, nine o'clock uh, windy stuff and uh, it is like uh, good weather that that day and uh, <coughs> it was like uh, 11th uh, May and 
after this we are planning to go summit uh, mm -hmm. and we uh, we start to prepare everything and at the time i was uh, looking for my oxygen because uh, there is a, the most worst thing is that uh, somebody used my oxygen. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> so didn't have oxygen? Ah, yeah, uh, just uh, not enough oxygen, but uh, we have uh, just, uh, just uh, like, not for the summit, but uh, I can go back to the camp too. Uh -huh. Like, uh, just for a while. So again, you return down? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because and then? And then uh, uh, I had uh, one friend, and uh, because of, uh, there is oxygen only for one guy, okay. not for me, like uh, just one guy. And uh, he said that like, uh, what do you want to do? You want to go or like, and uh, definitely I'm not going because one, uh, one night I already stay in camp for and uh, no energy. So I decided to come back to uh, camp too. And, uh, with backpack, uh, with blank oxygen bottle, I came back to the uh, camp too, oh. and, uh, and there I find uh, my uh, boss friend, uh, his Temba Serpa, and uh, during the, uh, when I was in South Pole, I heard uh, like uh, on the radio his sound, and uh, I was so excited to, somebody is there, <laughs> like, and uh, I just stuck him and uh, uh, like I just want to go. Came, I just came back. I just want to come back and uh, maybe uh, if that hap if that is possible, I just wa uh, I want to come with you. And uh, I decided that uh, I came back to the camp too. Mm -hmm. And uh, he had a plan to uh, summit fifteenth. Uh, Mm -hmm. So I have to stay for uh, camp two like uh, two nights more, and uh, I come back to camp two and uh, I coordinate with uh, uh, my boss friend uh, like Temba, and uh, after three days, after two after two days, and uh, again we start to uh, like for the summit push, and uh, one night we stay in uh, camp three. Mm -hmm. And after that, uh, uh, camp four. Just immediately the next day. Ah, uh, not not immediately. Yeah, next after two days. After two days. Yeah. Okay, okay. It was like after two days. Uh -huh. And uh, I was like uh, everything before. I didn't carry any of my stuff like uh, because uh, there was uh, surplus and uh, they already carried our our my and uh, but after I have to carry my one. Okay. So it was like uh, I got it my yeah it, it was so hard yeah it was not easy <laughs> and uh, my backpack was like uh, 25 kg something mm -hmm. and uh, I had never carried before in the in the high altitude for the like uh, normal altitude I carried but uh, in high altitude it was my first time mm -hmm. so uh, I carried my own oxygen from camp to and. Uh, uh, my sleeping bag, everything, and uh, I went with uh, my boss friend Timba, and he was like he was with uh, his uh, client, and uh, I just follow her, I just follow him like uh, behind, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, it was like uh, 14 June and uh, uh, no no sorry 14 uh, 14 May, and because uh, uh, there was a uh, lots of people you know, because uh, uh, it was like 15. On 15, it was it is going to be good weather, so mm -hmm. every mm -hmm. everyone's planning to go, and it was like a uh, lot of people on the way. It was really just one queue, one line of people. Yeah, yeah. Was it really it was, so many people? Yeah, so many people. It is like uh, 60 over. Uh huh. Six over 60 people. Yeah, over 60 people. Uh huh. Yeah, over 60 people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is so hot uh, during the climb, and we went uh, camp for. And uh, very tired, you know, like it came for, and uh, like my backpack was quite heavy, and uh, so tired, and uh, I just went camp for, and I just like taking rest, no moving, like only oxygen marks on, on mouth, and uh, just take a rest, and uh, he took care of me, my friend was uh, my boss friend, and uh, after. 
around two o'clock, uh, we reached in uh, uh, camp four, and uh, after after five six hours, like around uh, eight o'clock, we uh, no around yeah around eight o'clock, we start for the summit, summit push. Yeah, summit push, and uh, he he had uh, like uh, three clients, and uh, we move early so because. Uh, one one of his client is a uh, little bit slow that's why we start a little bit uh, earlier and uh, but on the way he just uh, he, do, he don't wanna go uh -huh. so he skip as uh, yeah he, he yeah and he just uh, came back and uh, we went uh, to the summits and uh, on the summit yeah it is so hard because uh, from South Pole to uh, Balcony and uh, it is very hard for me, it was very hard, South Pole to Balcony mm -hmm. and uh, from Balcony we, I changed my oxygen and uh, after that uh, we started slowly and after that it was not uh, so hard for me because okay. I don't know why, because a uh, little bit, the uh, way is little bit easier, it was easier for me and uh, we continue slowly and uh, around uh, 3.45 early morning we reached to the summit because yeah okay how it was yeah it was amazing yeah yeah did okay. you have uh, enough energy to recognize the happiness yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> at that time i was strong okay yeah. okay and uh, after that uh, we took some pictures and uh, it was so it was so it was so happy yeah i was so happy it, i don't know how to express my happiness like uh, it was so happy i was so happy and uh, after that uh, uh, we spent like uh, 15 to uh, 15 to 20 minutes on the summit and we took some pictures and uh, and uh, we just well, came, back yeah, came back. Which peaks do you <laughs> done before Everest? Uh, before Everest, I did uh, two uh, peaks. Uh, first, Lobuzi, and uh, after that, Island Peak. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Where do you think is coming the future of uh, high mountaineering and the tourism and all this industry? Uh, if you don't think, you don't have to say. You can say, I don't know, I will see. <laughs> just as you feel it. <laughs> Uh, yes. You don't know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No problem. No problem. Yes. 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 Uh, Nimal Puja is a big hero for you. Yeah. 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 And uh, when uh, when uh, I came back uh, to the from the summit on the way I met him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so did you tell him I'll beat you? <laughs> yeah. 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 I tell. Him. Yeah. I tell him, and uh, he was like. Uh, I am with oxygen and he was like without oxygen. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So yeah. Yeah. And what do you think about your future? Do you want to become a member of Gorka uh, people and just to go to the British citizenship or <laughs> do you want to stay here? Cool. No, I don't want any uh, foreign citizenship. I just want to stay here and uh, I I'll just enjoy my mountain everything mm -hmm. and but uh, but I, I want to go foreign country just for the visit, not for this, uh, like, uh, uh, yeah. yeah. And uh, involvement in Gorka, Gorka troops uh, doesn't motivate you? Uh, before I tried once, but uh, after that, after that, I joined mountain and I enjoy a lot here. So I changed my mind and uh, <laughs> now I'm in mountain field, mountaineering field. Great. Okay. Thank you very much. Good luck. Good luck <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank great. you so much. Thank you. Thanks for listening and for meeting. Thanks for every comment and like. Have a great day. You're Peter Hockey.